If you use GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad in iOS 11, then there's a good chance that you've come across some fairly frustrating files related errors, a little bit like this one. Well, in this video, I'm going to break down some of the most common solutions to these files related problems. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Life Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And there's not going to be much creating, recording, or releasing of anything if you can't get GarageBand to work. And since the iOS 11 Files app integration, let's just say that there's been a few issues that folks have been coming across. So instead of going through every individual problem that people can have, what I thought I would do is I'll take you through some of the most common fixes to those problems that are going to help any of your files-related issues. So let's dive in with the most common fixes to files problems. Now I'm going to give you these tips in order that I use when I come across these issues and I'm deliberately not going to go into details about the problem because these can fix a whole bunch of different problems with your files app, your garage band and your iCloud integration which is what is causing 99% of those horrible files related issues. So the first thing that I'm going to suggest is to close down all of your apps. So to do that we're going to double tap on the home button of your device and then flick up any of these apps and then you're going to get back to square one. So if you're in the Files app or if you're in GarageBand, let's just go back into the Files app now. If we could spell, if you're in one of these apps and you're having issues, just doing that, closing everything and reopening can pop things back up and can make things happy again. So that is kind of number one tip. The second tip I have is literally to turn it off and on. Yes, that's right, the old turn it off and on. So to do that, on most of your devices, you're going to hold down on your power button until you get this slide to power off. And I won't do it because we'll stop my screen recording, but you slide to power off. We're going to cancel that when you then power back on, it's going to have reset your device and that, again, can fix a lot of those problems where there are errors with your syncing or errors with your files app integrations. So you've tried those two things and things are still not working for you. So the next place to stop is your storage. So for that, we're going to go into our settings. We're just going to drag down and go to settings app and this will open up our settings. And the first setting that I always check is my storage space. So your actual space that you're using on your iPhone is in your general menu here. You're going to come down to iPhone storage or iPad storage on the iPad and you're going to tap on that. And this is going to tell you how much space is on your phone or your iPad. Now, I've got 59.4 gig of 64 gig used, which is on the edge really. If you are if you've got any sort of less than about four gig of storage space, you can start running into issues, not only in GarageBand, but in a whole bunch of things. The reason for that is that GarageBand uses a whole lot of cache, which means it uses a whole lot of additional storage space that's not actually your files being stored. It needs that space to put temporary versions of your files. So if you've got a one gigabyte uh, GarageBand project, it's using you know one gigabyte, sometimes up to two gigabytes of storage just in the background. And you might notice that when you get like optimizing performance and it takes a really long time, or you get optimizing performance that says there's not enough space to optimize performance and you're like hey I got some space yeah you probably don't have enough space so I know space is at a premium on your i devices but try and keep yourself in that range of you know at least four gig or more worth of space and yeah if you're on a 16 gig device that can be really hard to do I totally understand but this is one of the main causes of some of those files related issues and if you're not familiar with how you can fix that, well, you can come down here, you can use your offloading of your apps, or you can uh, update your iCloud photo library to send your photos to iCloud, or of course, you can come in here and click on any of these, or tap on any of these arrows, and actually delete photos, delete GarageBand projects, delete messages, which I probably should do. I've got three gig of messages in here. So you can do all of that here. And I've actually got another video about how you can actually reduce down the size of your Facebook and your YouTube, which I look like I need to do here again, because they're getting a bit bloated. So that's another thing that you can can do here to reduce your phone storage or your iPad storage and make your files app work more seamlessly. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is our iCloud Drive because iCloud Drive is the default storage option for GarageBand. So a lot of folks are running into issues related to uploading or downloading from iCloud Drive and it's usually around your storage space in iCloud. So to check this, what we're going to do is tap on the actual first option here in our settings. So I'm just going to tap on my name here. 
and here you can see my Apple ID settings. So if I tap on iCloud here, it's gonna take me into my iCloud settings. And you can see here, I've just done a cleanup. So I have 2.5 of my five gig available and five gig is the default amount. If you don't actually have a paid account, you're gonna get five gig. And using GarageBand, five gig can fill up pretty quickly. So if I tap on manage storage here, you'll quickly see, or slowly see as the case may be, that I've got you know nearly two gigabytes worth of GarageBand files and that's after a cleanup. So I've got a whole heap more that are stored, stored on my actual device. So if you start producing in GarageBand, you're gonna quickly fill that up and you're going to need to do the same sort of thing. So you can come in here and you can actually see in each app how much they're using and then you can go ahead and start deleting what's being used. So it's taken a while to pop into there, but there's my music memos ones and if I tap on GarageBand, it will think about it for a while and it will eventually show me all of my GarageBand files there that we can delete from there, or we can go back to our files app, or we can go back to our GarageBand and actually delete them from there, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment as well. So to free up that space, we're gonna go back to our files app and come in here to files. And then if we go to iCloud Drive, I can come in here to GarageBand iOS and to delete a particular track, I can tap the select button and I can choose any of these. So I don't need this uh, beginner loops uh, option anymore and I can tap on the delete button there and then there's a second phase we need to do because Apple doesn't trust that we want that deleted is we have to scroll down on the left here to recently deleted and here you'll find and look I've got a, a, a treasure trove of things that I thought I'd already deleted but I hadn't so there's some extra space to be had here what we can now do is tap select and select tap on delete all and then delete and it's going to get rid of the rest of those items as well. So we've now freed up that space on our iCloud drive and we should see a bigger uh, free space when we go back to our iCloud drive settings. And once again, you do want to try and keep as much free space. Now, again, I know it's even harder because you've only got five gig, but if you're doing things like duplicating or creating different versions or sharing files from iCloud, you can very quickly run into issues if you don't have enough space to handle the downloads and the uploads. And that's where you get that annoying problem where you come into GarageBand and you'll see it gets stuck on an upload or a download. So if you come into iCloud Drive here, let's just load up this particular track and it will load in three, two, one, loading my track. And then all I'm gonna do is go and go back to my songs. You get this little upload icon. And if you see that waiting to upload sitting there and not actually uploading, then it's more than likely that you don't have enough space in your iCloud drive. And that's what's preventing it from uploading. You can see it's now uploading. It's got that little up sign. It's got 10 megabytes. And there you go, it's done. If it's a larger file, it will take longer. So don't freak out too much if it's taking a little bit of time. But if it's stuck there for literally hours and days, then that's likely related to one of your iCloud drive problems, which is usually related to your storage space. Now, our final issue is where you get a problem that's something around authorization or you don't have authority or you don't have permission to access files. And these happen quite often. And usually it's related to a, a misalignment or a lack of syncing between your Apple ID or your iCloud settings and GarageBand. So the thing to do with this is to come into the same spot in your uh, settings here in your Apple ID and iCloud and tap on sign out. You're going to uh, sign out of, and I won't do it here, you're gonna sign out of Apple ID because I have to turn off, fire my iPhone, you have to do a bunch of other things. So follow the directions, they're pretty simple to be able to actually sign out of your Apple ID completely. And then when you come back in here, you'll just need to sign back in. And then when you've signed in, you're gonna find that most of those sort of problems can be fixed up because what the majority of those problems are is that it's there's a misalignment between GarageBand, the Files app, and your iCloud settings and your Apple ID settings in here, and it's causing problems. So there you have it, some common fixes to those frustrating GarageBand iOS 11 files related issues. Now, I'm not gonna promise that this is gonna fix absolutely every issue that you're gonna come across. And in fact, if you are still having problems, why not drop your problem in the comments below? And hopefully one of our community here on Studio Live today can help you out and we can get you back up and running. If you've got any other comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link in the top right corner, or you can head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.